So I've been studying uh, explosions in the sky for almost two decades now, and this is by far the most exciting scientific discovery that I've been involved with. It is something that I and others have been working towards for years. And to actually see this uh, potential and this dream realized uh, is, is really astounding. Uh, and it is something that I suspect that I will remember for the rest of my life and the rest of my scientific career. As soon as we discovered the visible light counterpart of the neutron star binary collision, we of course continued to study it for uh, several days and weeks, taking uh, pictures every single night with a dark energy camera and the Gemini telescope. And what we found is that over time the source declined in brightness. It started very bright, uh, very obvious, uh, and over the course of a few days uh, and about two weeks, it essentially disappeared from view and will never be see it, seen again. Binary systems um, composed of two neutron stars start their lives as two very massive stars, much larger than our sun, uh, and eventually each one of these stars explodes as a supernova and leaves behind a neutron star. And over billions of years, those neutron stars spiral into um, each other uh, closer and closer until they eventually collide and produce a very large burst of gravitational waves. Uh, and that is the signal that was seen by LIGO uh, and Virgo and announced to us. After that collision, uh, we suspect that a black hole forms. And that formation of a black hole can then lead to the ejection of uh, radioactive material and jets of gamma rays. Uh, which will produce a wide range of electromagnetic radiation.